YouTube is good. We're good. Okay. Hey guys. Hello. Happy Sunday. <coughs> Happy Sunday. I really thought long and hard about what I wanted to eat for dinner tonight, and I couldn't make up my mind. Hi Pisces. How are you? Hey Pisces. Hi Twitch. Hello YouTube. Um. I'll let Kaki tell you guys what she has first, and then I'll get into my meal. My meal's a bit of a doozy. I'm happy and excited about this meal. What's up, Mobster? Hey, Mobster. Hey, Cody. Cody, I got to talk to you about something. Uh, Rashad, what's up? All right, Kaki, you want to tell what you got? Yeah, I have a lasagna sub. This side is vegetable lasagna, and this side is regular lasagna. Half lasagna, no, it's ha it's all lasagna. It's half, all lasagna. Half, half veggie, half regular. Half veggie, half regular. And then I have a salad. Gotta have the salad with the lasagna. As long as I can. What's up, Zach? All right. Hey, um, Zach. Cody, do you remember that 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 cop that gave me the ticket for the license plate, the license plate, the bogus uh, the bogus ticket I got? I had to pay. Uh, turns out I had unpaid park uh, red unpaid light camera red, tickets. Red light camera tickets. Now my dad, I gave my dad money and he paid he paid the tickets hey, online. Nelson. What's up, Nelson? He paid the tickets online, right? Now when it came to paying the actual license plate uh, ticket, it didn't show up. No, it did. You know, and he plugged in both he, the he plugged in both both uh, the, case the case number and the ticket number, and nothing popped up. Nothing popped up. So I'm like, holy shit! Did my license get suspended? So. When I went food shopping tonight, I, I made it a purpose to go and find a cop. Now, I usually go to 7-Eleven because that's where they like to hang out by me. There was no cop. I waited in the parking lot, editing a video for like 15 minutes. and <coughs> So I went to the fire department, found a cop. He ran my license. Everything turned out good. Is there a small chance that maybe the ticket doesn't exist if you can't find it online? Is that a possibility? Um, if he's a so. cop, he's not going to know that. Why? Because cops don't know things like that. That has to do with the um, the actual court system. Well, whatever. It was just, I figured maybe he would know. Like, sometimes do you write a ticket and it doesn't go through the system? Is that a possibility? That's what I was asking. Well, the, the ticket obviously went through the system if they saw it when you Eat went girl. down there. When Eat you went girl. down there, it obviously went through the... tell you guys what I have until I hear back from Cody. I've got a salad... And whoever is showing me those hearts, thank you very much. Yeah, lots of hearts popping up, guys. We got a nice big salad, Ben. I'm sure you you know you're happy about that. I gotta dip it in the sauce though. And then I've got two tuna melts. Two tuna melts. Um, this is Subway's Italian herbs and cheese bread. I've been successful in buying just bread from Subway. So and, and I you know, I paid a dollar for each one. So you know I'm fucking happy about that. One is stuffed with Cheez Its. Grooves, white cheddar cheese at grooves should be good. The court system itself could have thrown out the ticket. Out. Also, the cop could have decided to not pursue, pursue the charges. The charges. Hmm. You still gotta go doing down the there. hearts. Oh, Zach, you're doing the hearts. Well, thank you. I don't see the hearts dancing a lot on our screen, so when I do, uh, makes, I see them every now and then. <clears throat> it makes me happy. So thank you for showing some love. Thank it means you, a lot. Zach. And Cody, thank you for answering that. All right, let's try this tuna melt with Cheez-Its. Who says Subway bread doesn't crunch? And Cody, not for nothing. I feel like the license plate ticket's a bunch of bullshit. Because that, the license plate was made by New York State. It so is. if it peels, how is that our fault? Well, it's I not guess our fault. It's our, it's our job, I guess, to go and get a new license. Which we can do for free of charge. Yeah, you just have, have to wait 10 number. years in a day. I've got nothing to worry about. All right, good. Um, still go down there tomorrow. Just don't bake on that. Well, what happens if I go down there? What happens if I can get away for you without half the pain, though? Then that means the ticket was obviously scrapped. Maybe I'll go down to the court. You have to go down with court regardless. And ask if there's any t unpaid tickets. I just want to make sure. And see if that pops mm -hmm. up. I think that's my best I bet. Would, I wouldn't do that. 
I would just say, I tried to pay this ticket online, um, and then it wouldn't pop up that there was a, an issue. It just kept telling me that there was no number for why, it. Why couldn't Cody? Why couldn't Cody fucking you know pull me over? Or somebody like Cody? I know Cody's in a different what state. What, what state are you in, Cody? You're down south, right? This is good. Never a bad idea this to ask good. if you have any any unpaid fines. You hot five hundred subs. It's because I told my friends to. You're the reason why I hit 500 subs? Zach, that's fucking awesome. Hold on. Thank you, Zach. If you are the reason, thank you. He's in Ohio. Ohio, okay. So that's like west. Southwest, right? From us. It's west. West. Not southwest, but west. Whoever, whoever spread our name, and I've, I've also been hashtagging my videos, which I never did in the past, Zach. So if you are the reason... And that happened, thank you. Whoever whoever did that, thank you. And if you're new to our channel, leave a comment. Let me get to know you. Sanjay's been actually... Sanjay was actually nice today. Sanjay, you're on a roll. Yeah. Khaki's not fond of you. Even nah. though you fuck, with, you fuck with me more than Khaki, but... You just, might you might be starting to grow on me. And if you're a fake and you're somebody else... You know what? You can grow on Jamie, but... Whatever. Guess what? Whatever. You ain't gonna grow on me. Even the, I have to. I have to grow to like you. Even the pimples on my chest. I'm and right I, now. Kenny, hold on, girl. I'm trying to fucking talk. Shut up. Don't. All you do is talk. You want? To, you never let me talk. You want Carlos Danger to come out and talk? Oh my god. Then <laughs> shut it. <laughs> even, <laughs> even the pimples on my chest, I grow to love. Okay, I'm just. It's the kind of person I am. I mean, I don't Not want me. anything. You just deserve. It. Well, thank you. I hope. I hope we get crazy famous and we could. We could eventually do something where we're making some kind of videos for a living. I mean, that's the ultimate goal here. If you pay attention and watch our stories, my stories in particular, told. I put a lot of time and effort into stories that go away in 24 hours. 24 hours. I put a lot of time and effort into those things. So just imagine if I actually got paid to fucking make videos. The shit I would do. <laughs> It'd be great. It'd be great. I do believe it'll happen. I don't know when. It'll happen, though. Well, thank you, Zach. I appreciate that. It'll happen. What did everybody eat for dinner? I'm going to try and not just talk over everybody and miss comments like I did last night. Last night I was fucked up, and so was Kagi. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> but I watched some of the stream, you know what? We we did a, a, a good job. I thought we did a good job. You got a high five for that one. Seriously. Even though I was like really, really no, drunk last night, I thought I did hey, a pretty good job. Hey, girl. Well, it's so funny. Like, I don't have pizza, but I do have my salad that usually goes with my pizza. And I'm not missing the pizza. I'm not missing the pizza. Some would think I was going to do McDonald's tonight, but that just shit. Zach that said, I ate nothing at all because he didn't feel like eating. I feel like that sometimes, Zach. But then I force myself to at least eat something. Unless I'm sick. If I'm sick. I'm now, sometimes that. you being tired will trump everything. Mm -hmm. And he's like, I don't want to eat tonight. Mm-hmm. Like, for me, there's nights where, like, tonight could have been a night. I ate so many cookies and donuts last night that, I mean, I was, I was surprised that I got up at my normal time, 4.30, 5 o'clock. I dipped my cookies and donuts in milk. It was great. I what was extremely did happy. Because Black it did, and white. It didn't look like those donuts were touched in that box. I only had one. I've been limiting myself to one donut per night on the weekends. Same thing with the candy. I cut back on the candy this weekend. I cut back on the cookies this weekend. But, like, it kind of trumped it because I went with higher calorie cookies. Pot roast. Nice tan. Oh, Mobster said, I eat 11 a.m. for my old man. I'm going to have bacon. I eat 11 a.m. for my old man. I'm going to have bacon cheeseburgers and tater tots, a big salad, and a bowl of yogurt. 
That's what you're having tomorrow. Good for you. That sounds delicious. Yeah, it does. Tan had pot roast. She pot made it. Roast. I read. Tan. I read everything. Tan writes. Pot roast tan. I love pot roast. Some, I haven't had pot roast in so long. Some people might say pot roast is a main American dish. Oh my god! I in love the top pot roast. ten, I think my mom makes the best pot roast. I don't know. I think I make some badass pot roast myself. Not better than my mom's. You know that. You've taken a lot of things away from my mom that my mom used to make me happy with. Pot roast is one that this won't happen. There's a one place that has better pot roast than my mom, and it's a diner in Northport, New York. It's amazing. It's called... I actually don't know the name of the diner. I feel like I know the name of it, but I can't think of it right now. Yeah, my old buddy Joe used to uh, he used to go there all the time. His wife works there. Oh, I thought he worked there. He were, he was a busboy for a little bit, and then he, he stopped for whatever reason. But is what it is. Hmm. Shipwreck. Shipwreck Diner. If you're from New York and you have been to Shipwreck Diner, leave a fucking comment. Let me know what your favorite dish from there is. Mine was the pot roast. I've only been there once. Mm hmm. Zach said, Zach's been fasting for 41 hours so far. For what? He said, haha, I, I drink water, but I didn't eat for 48 hours so far. So, Zach, you're adapting the fasting. Yeah, Zach, that's something I'm thinking about trying. I'm thinking about trying the uh, alternate day fasting. Like, two, two days a week, at least, just to get my, my, my cookies and donut calories, you know, saved up easier. Did I inspire you to get some Subway today, Jamie? Well, Cody, I'm not going to lie to you and tell you that I wasn't thinking about Subway after you told me you got it last night. But I love Subway. Like that's just one of the one of the places I like. Eat fresh, eat healthy, lose weight by eating Subway. That's what the logo is. That's like what a lot of mm. people say. I've been eating Subway. That used to be a thing. Like holy shit, Jack, you lost a bunch of weight. What are you doing? I'm eating at Subway every day. You're eating a bunch of carbs and like no meat because that's <laughs> what happens when you eat Subway. It's a joke. <laughs> it's a joke, but Subway is delicious. Their bread does crunch mm -hmm. and it does make you feel happy. And they put, like, no meat on their subs. People always hate on Subway. Exactly, Cody, and they shouldn't. Maybe if they actually try to meet the hero from yeah. Subway. I've tried that, and I, it was all right. You know what I like? I like Subway's cucumbers. I like how they slice them thin. I like their peppers. The only thing I could do without is the attitude from some of their employees. Chicken teriyaki from Subway. That used to be mine too, Zach. Subway, I don't think I ever had that Subway, one. I could tell you my main sandwiches that I used to get all the time. Because when I was younger, Subway was a main, a main place that I would go. Start off at the chicken bacon ranch. And then I gradually moved over to the ch uh, chicken teriyaki. Then I moved over to the Meatball Hero, which I love. Meatball Hero pepperoni. That's what Meatball Hero, and I would get, pepper, <laughs> and I, and I would I get would, pepperoni on it. I would get that too. And it was, it was good. Then but. I got into the, the stage of mixing and matching and just putting everything possible. If I got a Philly cheesesteak, I would add, you know, ranch and I would add this and that. And then Subway started getting stingy with the prices. And then, like, they were just being like, oh, can I get a little bit more? And they go, oh, you've got extra. <laughs> and the Meatball Hero, whenever I got a Meatball Hero, I decided to get a broccoli and cheese soup. Never had their Subway cookies, though, and I hear they're just fucking delightful. Never had their cookies. Eric the Electric said that their fucking Subway cookies are delightful. I think those are his words. Italian BMT and the club sandwiches. See, now, the only... I've never had like, The only sandwiches I've had were, were the, um, the meatball here with the pepperoni because of Jamie. And then, like, I used to get, like, the, ch um... I just get turkey, lettuce, and tomato. Don't worry about it. Good night, Jack. Jalapenos and pickles. And that's what I would eat. But I'm really not a fan of Subway. 
They don't really put a lot of meat on there. Like, it's, it's nothing. It's nothing. It is what it is. I mean, there's... You go to a hero shop, by us, they yeah, you pile could get, that shit on. You could get double the size of a hero for the same price, if not cheaper, mm-hmm. depending on what place you go to. But yeah, Cody, I've never had a Subway cookie. And their bread's better. Maybe I'll get a Subway cookie. You know what the thing is? Like, their Subway cook, the calories are so fucking high for one cookie. It's like... 170 to 190 calories for a cookie. I believe. I could be wrong. Well, they're big, though. They're big cookies. Really? I feel like they're big cookies. I could give... Listen, I could stop the stream right now and give you a big cookie. You want a big cookie? It's not the cookie that I want, though. Why? I want a regular cookie. (laughs) Don't be racist. Are you racist because his name is Carlos Danger? (laughs) Oh, yeah, because, you know, I'm not half Puerto Rican. No, this is new, Kaggy. You can't pull that card. <laughs> I'm wondering if I'm inspiring anybody to name their penis Carlos Danger. It's a cool fucking name. I haven't asked you before. You want to see who Carlos I've never had a, I've never had a car, um, a She Subway. said no. A Subway cookie before. I have never. had McDonald's cookies, and McDonald's cookies are good, too. Never had McDonald's cookies, either. The McDonald's man has never had a McDonald's cookie. Never had I've Mc- had McDonald's cookies. And I'm, I actually am a fan of McDonald's cookies. I've never had McDonald's cookies. I have. They're good. For someone who loves McDonald's. Here's the thing. I love McDonald's, but like... Their chocolate chip cookies are badass. If you love McDonald's like me, and if you love Subway like me, which cookie am I better off trying? McDonald's I've or Subway? Subway cookies. I might be fucking shocking the world. James never had a McDonald's cookie? <clears throat> what? He I don't, bleeds McDonald's. He's never had a McDonald's I, I, cookie. I don't bleed McDonald's. <laughs> you do bleed McDonald's. You do. But I will say this. Do. Usually when I have a bad day at work, I like to keep Ronald in my back pocket. I have him on speed dial. And I'll, I'll go see him if I just have a shitty day and Target gives me the rusty oh, screwdriver. I'm not doing him this week. I'm, I, well, I shouldn't say that. I don't have plans on doing them this week. I need to get fucked really good, really good by Target to go to McDonald's. That's my go-to. That's mm. going to be my go-to. Was your boss supposed to meet with them tomorrow? My manager. And he told me on Friday, he's like, don't forget to remind me. I won't forget because my manager was annoyed with what I had to do with on Friday. Subway. I just want to go beat the fucking guy's ass. The man with the banana up his ass. I will help Target. you. I will help you. Without getting in trouble. Oh, just let me do it. You won't get in trouble. Like, I look totally different from my work uniform and how I look in my, my job to com- compared to how I look on the weekends as a normal citizen. I look totally different. I could probably bump into him on accident and be like, yeah, motherfucker, you got a problem with me? He probably wouldn't even remember, wouldn't, re- re- you know... What I'm saying, let me handle it. Cause I'm a what bitch. are you gonna do? I don't know. I'm a bitch. I'll just, I'll just let him have it. I was thinking about calling up Target and being like, "Yeah, this fucking manager. His name is Luis. <laughs> I know his name. I looked at his name tag. He gave me an attitude. You should call up Target. You want me to do it? As it like, as a customer. No, no. Oh, well, I'm gonna see what happens oh, I'll tomorrow. Do it. The next time I get into a confrontation. I will drop kick that motherfucker. And take the chance. How was our day? Tan? Um, very relaxing. I went for yeah. a six mile run. Kaki went to the gym, got burned in the tanning bed. I did. Do we They both? changed the bowls in the tanning bed. Kaki, and I got crispy. Kaki looks like a Oompa Loompa. I don't think I look as as red as her, but she said I look red. I don't see No, it. your face is red. Face is My red? My whole self is red. Like... The underneath part of my boobs is red. The bottom part of my belly's red. My ass doesn't feel burnt. I didn't see Jackie's ass tonight. No, my ass doesn't feel burnt, but my face definitely is burnt. I feel it. And then my neck. You can't see it? Do you, what are you oh, looking? no. I see. I saw it in the mirror before. I knew you were calling me. Off. I knew Like, my neck she is got red. A, she Here, got a, like, the under part of my boobs is red. Like, it's like this whole big thing. Hey, Pete, I've got tuna melts with cheese it. Cheese its uh, white cheddar crackers, a salad, and then Kaki's got half vegetable lasagna, half regular lasagna. 
in a sub. It's very good. Mm. My sandwiches are kind of dry. Just a little bit. Really? A little bit because there's only cheese and fucking tuna on here. Mm. The salad helps. But it's like, what can you dip a tuna melt in? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it might be the bread. It might be the Subway bread and the amount that I don't have enough tuna on here. That could be a big reason why. Well, who knows? Who knows? All I do know is, is it's delicious. I'm finishing off my beers for the weekend, so it's safe to say that I'm having almost 12 pack of weekends. Friday, I feel like I got fucked because of the oven. And my buzz. Yeah, the oven on Friday was terrible. Went away. Saturday was a fun night. Saturday was a sun night. We got to sleep in. The kids actually slept in. Kaki was still sleeping by 10 o'clock. Hmm. Isabella had me up by 8. I just laid there. She's and she was like, Mommy, look, Todd wants to lay with us. Because Todd kept like, Here's how fat our cat is. Like, he's so lazy, he can't even, like, jump up onto the bed. Like, he could if he wanted to, but, like, he just kept putting his two paws up there. So, he's, she's like, Mommy, put Todd on the bed. So, I picked Todd up, and I put Todd on the bed, which was fine. He cuddled up next to me like he always does. Puts his face in my face. Todd, he's such yeah. a nice cat. He slept with me all weekend. And we all go back to sleep. And then I wake up to Isabella crawling across me because she wants to lay on the other side. Fine. And then she crawls across me to lay down. And then she crawls back. I'm like, what are you doing? She goes, Todd's going to bite me. I'm like, did you mess with Todd? Because Todd gets pissed off easily. Like, you can fuck with him. He gets mad easily, She gets yeah. mad. She's like, no. And he cr she crawls back on the other side. So I roll over and I put my arm around around him to go like scratch his head and that little shit freaking bites my hand. He doesn't bite me. He doesn't bite though. Like he'll just like, it's like a warning bite is why I describe it as like, I guess he wanted food. My dog is licking my nuts right now. <laughs> I dropped a, yeah, it really is. I dropped a crumb and he's like trying to get there. Hey Lance. Hey Lance. I'm like, he just wanted like, he gave me that yeah, warning bite. cringe when I come in the stream, but hey. Ain't stream till I walk in. Nobody cringes when you walk in, Lance. Hi, Lance. Knock that off. How are you? But yeah, no, he bit my hand. And I'm like, you little shit. And I pushed him off the bed. You know what he does to me? Because He I wanted food. That's what he wanted. He wanted fucking food. Well, that's what I was going to get to. I don't wash my face when I'm done eating. And I most nights I probably should. But, and when I eat cookies and donuts in the middle of the night, forget about it. I got chocolate everywhere. But he like sniffs my face and then he starts licking and the licking turns into baby little bites. You hound hitter? Hound hitter? I'm not a hound hitter. He's licking my, well he's not licking my balls, but you know what I mean. He's like licking no. the crumbs. He, the he's crumbs. licking the crumbs. But it feels like he is and his nuts, his nose is like nudging my nuts. Have a truck or treat. He no. stopped. We have... We didn't have trick or treat for the kids, Cody. We have like what's called safe Halloween at the high school, where yeah, you go from like the different rooms, and they have like a home hallway. Traditional trick or treating is is this Friday, which no, which is set, no, it's Thursday. And we're just supposed to pour rain. Halloween on Thursday. On Thursday? Mm -hmm. Which is supposed to pour rain on Thursday. Oh, I thought Halloween was on Friday. Mm -hmm. Oh. Halloween is Thursday. And it's Jimmy Jam's Halloween. birthday. Oh yeah, Jimmy Jam turns 50 years old on Friday. <laughs> Thursday. Thursday, whatever. Oh, this is filling me up. I would rather finish the salad tonight over the sandwich. For two Subway sandwiches... Just the bread, 24 inches, is 500 fucking, no, 1,000 calories. How crazy is that?
Um, Plugs due to poor connection. Wonderful. Khaki's off tomorrow, Lance. Yeah, Lance, I'm off tomorrow. And I then, have to be up at 8 to get Lucas ready for school. I, I should be up at like 6.30, but I won't get up and get out of bed till about 7.20. Stroll into work a little bit late. And then start my Monday. I hope and pray that this week flies by. I wanted to start the stream off by saying this, actually. When it comes to calories, when it comes to nutrients, when it comes to, you know, healthy meals, so to say. Every Sunday, I look at Monday being a clean slate. Like, this is my chance to have a great fucking week. Eat low calorie, low fat, low carb. For, you know, prepare, for, prepare yourself for the weekend the right way. That's how I look at every Sunday. Costumes all day at school. See? They're not allowed to wear costumes And I'm looking forward. Here. I'm looking forward to a good start of the week. I really am. I'm looking forward to it. I've got no meals planned besides my cereal one. Yeah. Which is going to be banging. It's a good idea. But I've got no meals planned for tomorrow. I know I want to do bagels sometime this week. I got those rolls um, that I fell in love with last week, which I have. I finally have a nice roll that tastes good. I just got to think of something to stuff it with. Obviously, rice, rice, broccoli, and cheese is going to be part of it. Comes home after. See, Tan. Her mind is where we live. Staying in the costume all day. Yeah, it makes sense. Our school, our school system. Does not allow slow tonight. our kids to wear their costumes to school. So they have quote unquote orange day. Orange day parties, orange day this, orange day that. They can't wear their costumes to school. Now tan. When I was when I was in school, like elementary school, I remember having a costume parade. You where know. you would wear your costume. Me too. And you would walk around the whole school in your costume. I remember having that. They uh, don't do that anymore. No, I was Spider Man. Oh God, I can't. I was. I was something different every year. My mom has a VHS of me dressed up as Spider Man, walking in a fucking circle in front of all the parents in this big fucking parking lot. Yeah. And I remember. It's it's funny. Like I don't remember exactly like certain things, but I do remember this little kid. And I thought I had a cool costume, which I I was. I was Spider Man. <laughs> I saw somebody had a wrestling costume and they were the big boss man. I wasn't even a big boss man fan when I was in kindergarten. But you thought that was awesome. I thought that was so cool. And I wanted to do it. I'm like, I'll yeah. be Akeem, the African dream. Unfortunately, where we live, they don't allow costumes in school. I know why. Which is stupid. I'm sorry. It's fucking Halloween. It's... It's called everybody's too sensitive these days. That's what it's called. Yeah. It's called everybody's too sensitive these days, and kids <clears throat> can't be kids and wear their costumes no. to school like we used to. No. Everything is about religion and mm -hmm. politics, and you know who suffers? The kids. Mm -hmm. The kids. Now, you should know by now that I'm not one that likes to talk about religion. I definitely don't want to talk about politics because I don't know shit about politics. I will tell a story that happened on Friday. Somebody was talking about politics and Bill Clinton's name came up. And all I said was, the man's a legend. Referring to him getting a blowjob under the desk. Under the desk. <laughs> That's all I was referring to. And then the guy fucking flipped out on me. Of Do you know he what did. he did? Do you know all the fucking blah blah blah? I'm like, I'm talking about the blowjob. That's it. Do you know what Joe Schmo down the street did? No, you don't care about that. Like, that's all I fucking was, 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 was referring to. And then he's like, and his fucking wife. I'm like, dude, don't give me heat. I was talking about the man got a blowjob. That's it. That's all I was That's why you being. don't bring it up. That's why you don't bother bringing it up. Well, fuck it. How am I supposed to know not to talk about Brother Bill? I um, mean, that's seriously. That's politics, and I never bring up politics they were already, for that reason. They were already talking about it. Somebody's talking about. It doesn't matter. You were talking, talking about a blowjob, and they were probably talking about something serious. 
No, I just I heard I heard Bush's name too. And all I said, but and well, once again, I heard Brother Bill, and I'm man like, choked on a Cheeto. man's a legend. That's all I said. Like I know nothing about. I don't watch the news because because of like sad shit and all the bad crap that happens in our world. Adults act like too too much like yeah, exactly exactly fasted bastard exactly. Everybody is too damn sensitive, and I don't get it, because this is not how I grew up. No. With shit. Like... Hey, Joe Cab. Hey, Joe Cab. How are you? Thank you. <clears throat> yeah, 500 subscribers on YouTube is... It's not a lot. It's, let's be real. It's not a lot, but it makes me feel happy. And that's all that counts. If I'm happy with it, I'm happy with it. Eventually, one day, I'll look back and like, man, I was so excited for 500 No, we cannot go live yet. We need a 1,000 to go live on our iPad or on a mobile device. Otherwise, we have to go live from a, a laptop. 1,000 subscribers. And laptop, I, I bought a, cameras suck. I got a laptop all for YouTube, and the quality of it sucked. I wasn't investing any more money into... And plus, I'm not very computer savvy. Yeah, you, uh, Twitch and Instagram. And that's good enough. That's That really is, it's good enough. You'll like, get there. Exactly, Joe Cab. We will get there. Eventually. We will. It'll happen. I think it'll happen before, um, I mean. You know what? Slow I would and like steady this. wins the race. No, I know. And we're working slow and steady. But. We've been working real slow and steady. I mean, we're going on fucking over two years of doing this every single night, uploading to YouTube, going live on YouTube, and 500 subscribers is... Everyone gets a trophy. Very slow. In society. Yeah, fasting bastard. Exactly. And I don't agree with that. Don't agree with that. I think I agree with it. And it no, Up until I like don't. first grade. I don't agree with that. Do you know why? No, but you're gonna tell because me anyway. Because not everybody is a freaking winner. Not everybody's gonna win everything. You can't always win everything. There's gonna be a winner, and there's gonna be a loser. Before I say what I'm going to say, please don't think I'm a dick, okay? But you were a cheerleader, right? Yeah, and okay. I never won anything. Did you, I, but did I sit there did, and cry and let's say I didn't win anything? I know I didn't get a participation thing either. No, but they put you on the team. Because yeah. you were the big girl to catch the big girl. Wow. You were? Were you not? No. Okay. No. Did you have to fight for your spot? Um, yeah, I did. And I you auditioned won? for or it. Did they... I auditioned for it. Yes, I did. I heard something different. I gotta put something From up. who? No, nobody. Because you don't know anybody from <laughs> I grew up with. You don't know the kind of research I do. Yeah. Do. Yeah, okay. So you don't funny. know how to turn on certain appliances. Are you kidding me? That's not true. <laughs> it is, though. What channel is King of Queens usually on? 33? He doesn't even know what channel the freaking show is on. 34. Two and a half men. That's even not better than King of Queens, mm -hmm. but it is what it is. Um, I'm sorry. You don't get a participation trophy in life. You don't. Halloween this year you for our kids? You don't get a trophy for showing up. Isabella is uh, Elsa from Frozen, and then our son is Henry Danger. No, he's Kid Danger from Henry Danger. He's Kid Danger. And he's uh. very proud of that, too. Very proud of being Kid Danger. Kid Danger, what's He takes what's his... that shit seriously. He's a superhero. He does. He went to... Anybody knows, like, the Nickelodeon show Henry Danger? If you have kids, chances are that you probably know the show. Hmm. You weren't there at Safe Halloween on Friday, but a bunch Can't. of high school kids. <laughs> Can't flip a breaker switch either. Well, Pete, <laughs> there's a difference between <laughs> not being able to flip a breaker switch and accidentally fucking up which shit, one and then getting in trouble flip. with my parents. Because that's the thing. Like I break a lot of their shit, and I don't need to add another thing to break <laughs> on them. You know what I mean? So by me flipping up a breaker switch and then turning it off. And then it possibly fucking up with the hot tub or the pool. Mm. That's something I don't want to do. I'll deal with the beeping. I'll deal with the beeping until my dad gets home. Which he did come home and he fixed and it. And he fixed it one, two, three. You cut me off though. I'm I was saying. I'm flying to Pete. Okay. Well, I guess I'm fucked again. There you go. That was for you. Because <laughs> I cut you off. 
I'm always fucked again because Jimmy always cuts me off. I, I was to go saying, with the flow. I was saying, at safe Halloween, like, you know, we're walking through the hallways, and like, there's a like a group of like high school kids like standing by the room, like waiting to like greet the kids as they go in, and then like we went into the room, we came out, and we're walking out, and they're like, "Is that kid danger?" To Lucas? Yeah. <laughs> Like that's kid danger, and Lucas turns around. And he has like this big smile. On his he's face. happy about oh, it. Oh my god, it was like the cutest thing I've ever seen. He's like, it's right. He's like, mommy, I'm kid danger. <laughs> I started laughing. I was like, oh, that was like his moment right there. That's the moment that kid was waiting for. Like I swear to God, that's the moment Lucas was waiting for. It was so funny. Like it's kid danger, and Lucas is like. Yeah, I'm I feel like Isabella <laughs> should get a wig though to complete her costume. No, but I do her hair like Elsa. But she could just get a braid, a, a wig. She's not gonna wear it. If it. We're gonna spend twenty dollars on a wig that she's not gonna wear. That's not true. Do you remember that time when I got you the Peggy Bundy wig? Mm, yeah, that I wore just because you forced me to, and then I never wore again. Yeah, it's true. Khaki watch, you know, wore it one time. I once bought Khaki a wig to spice up our sex life mm -hmm. in the bedroom. And for some reason, don't judge me, okay? I was into Peggy Bundy. And I'm thinking to myself, Peggy Bundy probably rides a nice dick. It'd be cool to fuck Peggy Bundy. I'll do one better. I'll get Khaki a orange curly wig. Khaki could be Peggy Bundy for me for one night. And if it's a, and the first thing Hacky says is, who the fuck do you want to bang that has red hair? Mm -hmm. And she, she fucking wore it like a champ. I thought she looked great. And guess what? It got thrown out. I yeah, Hacky threw it out in one of our. I'm moves. sorry. Uh, I wasn't saving that. <laughs> Peggy Bundy. This is a piece of shit. Listen, Peggy Bundy. She would wear the fucking tights. Oh, ow! Her big boobies. Always oh, perking. Big boobs that I've never had. Mm -hmm. You used to have them. Never had big boobs. Not like that, but you had bigger boobs compared to the pairs you have now. Right? Yes, thank you kids for reading my boobs. Mm -hmm. Our Taggy's very sour over the fact that we had two beautiful kids. No, and that's she not lost what I'm boobs. saying. I'm saying that I want a mommy makeover and Did you're you telling me your teeth come first. My teeth or my nose comes before your mommy makeover. Mm. No. Yep. No. We'll see. Um, we will see. For your son's that was your sister-in-law's wig. He hated it. Tang, you look hot. I thought you looked great. I thought your costume looked great. Even if, like, even if, honestly, Tana, even if that wasn't a look that he liked for you to have, like, going forward. He should have at least took advantage of it and had a good night with you. You know what I mean? It's something different. It's something spooky. It's something to spice up the bedroom. You know what I mean? Like, Kaki's always asking me, like, I'll put the flannel on and dress like Joe Dirt for Daddy. For Mommy, I should say. I'm like, you want Joe Dirt? Daddy. Because <laughs> you know, guys, I may or may not have a dick. <laughs> when Kaki gets aggressive in bed, she does say Daddy. I don't. Never. She's like, yeah. She'll fucking hit me and twist my nipple. Nope. You, call, you call me daddy. I'm like, no. All right, daddy. But yeah, she likes me dressing up as Joe Dirt. That's her special thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the fuck she's got with David Spade. Like, why he, she actually he's likes that. gotta him. have a field day with the snow. I'm just letting you know. Why? <laughs> it's you, not me. You're no good to me now. Hey, Munchkin. Hey, Munchkin. He's got too drunk. He got too drunk? So yeah, sometimes you drink too much and then your dick just doesn't work. I understand that. You gotta respect that, Tan. I don't think you ever had that problem where you got too drunk. Yeah. Well, I've been too tired where you were, I just fell asleep when you were doing that. One time. You remember mm -hmm. that? I do. You're like, really? Why, why would you even want to start if you're just gonna fall asleep? When I was on my anxiety medication, sometimes I couldn't even get my dick out. That was different. That's nothing with alcohol. 
Alcohol usually has the opposite effect. Drunk sex is very fun, Munchkin. It's awesome. It definitely is. Whiskey dick. Is that what it's called? Mm hmm. Whiskey dick. Whiskey dick. I don't think I've ever had it. I, the only time I've had whiskey dick is when I've done cocaine and fucking got drunk at the same night. Not with Khaki. Khaki never did that shit. That no. was me being a dumbass with my old buddy. <clears throat> and I was not heavy in coke either. It was like spur of the moment. Yeah. Shit was too expensive. I've never, never bought it. I've never done anything like that. Like I've smoked some marijuana. That was about it. Let it snow, my buddy would tell me. No. I'm like, yeah. Let's build a fucking snowman. <laughs> Do you want to build a snowman? Yeah. <laughs> That's what would happen. How often should a couple do oral? We don't do it. Oh, oral. I don't know. How, we don't do we it. We don't do it. I thought you meant anal. And how, I, I don't know how often. How yeah, often does, you Emily. want to do it. Lance, we don't do it. Well, Kaki does it for me a lot. But I do it more than you do it. No, because when I do it, it's got to be no interruptions. It's got to be a fun night. We have to have the night. We yeah, probably I know. do it like I'm the one that gets screwed. <clears throat> once a month, once a month. However, this past city trip, we did, just it didn't happen. I was so focused on editing videos that by the time we actually got to our room and it was time for us to have some fun, it just it just slipped my mind and I didn't take advantage of it. Hello, and I was pissed. Girl. Like, why not calling her two days later? I'm like, you know what we did not do in the city? She's like, what? Told her, she's like, it's okay, Anti we did something different. And antidepressant sex for sex. Hey, Emily. Jamie will attest to that one. <laughs> Anti-anxiety meds. You want sex all the time. So did I. The only thing is, Mr. Johnson didn't want to wake up. Or if he did get up, he just couldn't fucking he couldn't deliver. Finish. He couldn't deliver. Kaki would eventually wind up hurting. I would be out of breath. I was also fat at the time. And the stream goes south in 3, 2, 1. <laughs> south meaning what? Meaning it's going dirty. Well, it's, I wouldn't say it's getting dirty. Yeah, it's we're talking dirty. about personal, like we're talking about real life issues. Pete... I know certain people don't like the dirty sex talk and stuff. This isn't really a dirty sex talk no. kind of night. This is an anxiety issue, something no, I do. No, it's more of a medical. Me or medical, talk. whatever. I did suffer from. I used to have bad, very bad anxiety. I still do get bad, pa you know, panic attacks from time to time. It was, it was so serious for me I, that I became a heavy alcoholic. I had to go on medication for it. I lost, you know, I lost my job because of it. I did some fucked up shit that I don't even want to talk about. Munchkin, I give it more than I get it. Don't make you be the fucking victim when you get she, it. She was saying. When you get it, you get it. Yes or no? When you get it, you get it. Yeah, that's not the point though. I like to say she not gets. Not the point though. She gets the Jimmy Jam special. <laughs> <laughs> no, I give Boom. it more than I get it. You do. You're right, I do. I give it more. But it's like a lot easier for you to do it than for me to do it. Mm. And our situation definitely True. is. True. True. Yeah, he yeah, knows quite. damn well if we were on our own, we had our own place. That this wouldn't be a beard. It'd be just uh, a straight yeah, mustache. Yeah, Emily. Emily. Just say that. Sex sucks when you're fat. <laughs> We had good sex when we were fat. Yeah, but I always it's felt I always felt like fat. Yeah. I always felt uncomfortable. I don't know. I just remember not being able to see my dick. All right, and if I, you know, it's still fun, just exhausting. Yeah, you get out of breath. And we were smokers. Yeah, Emily, you ever had like... You were stinky, too. It was like endless pounding, so to speak. And then like nothing would come out of it. It freaking hurts after a while. 
It hurt. I know, Munch. It it happens from time to time. Like the last time it happened to me, oh, something it hasn't happened. happened to me in a while. Knock on wood. Thank God. Something happened to my phone, where not my last two phones, but this did happen mm -hmm. to me last year. I remember. My phone just did not work. And the and, battery started. And the battery, battery was the battery like just didn't turn on. It was charging overnight. And the battery just never turned back mm -hmm. on. I had to go to work. Kaki was taking me to work. I'm like, I've got no phone government. She needs me. You know, or something happened with the kids. I'm, I'm in a truck all day. I can't get, you know, no, no one can get a hold of me. I had a panic attack right there I on the road, stuck thing. in traffic. Stuck in traffic. And Kaki wound up taking me to the hospital. And she called my boss to let him know. He's going to the hospital. He's got, he has chest pains. Yeah, we were stuck in traffic. Do you know why? We were stuck in traffic for over two and a half hours because somebody <clears throat> found a dead body on the side of the road, the which the never road. happens. And they shut the freaking highway down cold. And we were, I was supposed to be at work. She could get it more, but she can't at the same time, Munchkin. It's not as easy as you think. It's, no, not, not our living situation right now, no. There's no way. No if, way. If we had our own place and I was giving it more than I get it, that would be a problem. But that never happened. No. When we were in one place, that was an issue. Never happened. You finished everything? Yeah, I'm about to go get some some dessert. What do you have for dessert? I have those. Oh brownies. God, I have those brownies that I never ate last night, guys. Right, well, I never ate those brownies. This. And then I have the freaking Cadbury eggs, which I never eat. I'll have a Cadbury egg if you want to share a Cadbury egg. Yeah, I have two. Panic attack. Glitter girl, you get them too? It's so fucked up and it's like... Yeah, those are the worst. It's like I they give you medication for it. And the medication the medication that I was on, I was on three different ones. And the combination just... I was not me. It made me do a lot of fucked up shit. It broke my dick. It broke my dick. And all for what? For me being, being able to go to sleep? It wasn't worth it. And I couldn't drink on this medication either. It was just bad. I thought we were just doing an egg. Now you got a brownie? I never eat it. Don't worry. Don't worry, Ben. I'm not eating the brownie. Huh. I'm not eating the brownie. You know, anxiety attacks, though, guys, they're the worst. Thank God I haven't had one in... And PTSD. You're on five? Holy shit. I can only imagine. Pet attack so bad that those having a heart attack. That's how mine mm -hmm. used to be, Munchkin. I always felt I was about to die. Like I would throw up, I would convulse. It was bad. You know how many times I went to the fucking hospital because of that? I never went to the hospital for mine. I just sat through it. Kaki would sit there. I, I was, I was, I don't want to say I was a little bitch, but I was very scared. I was very scared, and I always went to the hospital. I always knew it was a panic attack. Though. I always, I always went to the hospital. I always knew, like, it's not like that serious, but like, when you're going through anxiety and you have that initial like, oh my god, what's happened to me? I'm about to die. Feeling. I, I could tell you the first time I had it. It's Here's the serious thing. Serious. Scariest. Lucas was a baby. Lucas was probably under one years old. I was watching Monday Night Raw. I'll never forget uh -huh. this. I'll never forget this. This was in our... It was in the house. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. No, it was not. It was in Atlantic Point. Bullshit. Not, he was not Bullshit. a year old. How old was he then? Oh, he was over a year then. He was over a year. It was in year. Atlantic... It was, he was over a year then. It was Atlantic Point. I was watching wrestling on the couch. Charlie Haas was wrestling. And, and this is how fucked up it, it was, okay? Charlie Haas was a professional wrestler. He, I, don't need, I don't even know if he still wrestles. But I fell asleep. I woke up with my heart beating so fucking fast. Didn't know what it was, but it wasn't right. It wasn't right. Told Kaki about it. Told my mom about it. Went to the hospital. Started to do more research into, into, into it. Then I, um, for some reason, like I was watching Charlie Haas. And then it got to me thinking... Charlie Haas's brother died of a heart attack. 
this is before I knew it was anxiety. I, I was telling myself, Charlie Haas's brother died of a, of a heart attack. He had other issues, which I later found out. But I'm thinking to myself, like, holy shit, this is a sign. Maybe, maybe there's something wrong with my heart, because I didn't know it was anxiety. I would fucking Google all the symptoms, all the symptoms, anything and that, that ever happened. that was the worst thing you could do. That was the worst thing, I, worst thing I fucking did. Because I still do that. I Google my symptoms, and then I fucking freak out, and I lose my shit. I do, that happens to me all the time. More often than not, I will Google my symptoms. You're so bad. And it will fuck me up, like mentally. Just don't do that. Don't Google your symptoms. because I don't Google nothing no more unless it's an address. Oh, no, I, I still do it. Me and Katie. I'm like, boy, well, Google this, and she's like, what the fuck? What's wrong with you? And then, like, she'll text me. Well, I was having this, and I Googled it, and I'm like, oh my god, why'd you do that? But then she's our friendship. <laughs> yep, heart palpitations we, came later. Yeah. Okay. I get those all the time. I get those all the time. I didn't do medication at first. I haven't had them in a while, though. I haven't had them in a I while. I didn't do medication at first, but. Me and Kaki were watching uh, Keeping Up with the Kardashians one night, and she's like, I'm gonna have some wine, which she fucking did on a regular basis anyway, but for some reason she no, decided to. No, I really to didn't have me. a lot of wine back then. Not as much as you do now. Now she's fucking full blown, just straight up wine. Yeah, she's like, I'm, I'm pouring myself some gla a glass of wine, and I'm sitting there, and I'm like, you know what? We're watching the Kardashians, I'll have a glass of wine too. That and heart, I was like, okay, I was excited. I had a, I had a wine partner. <laughs> that heart, that heart, that fast heart beating went away. It went away. And I'm like, hmm, alcohol makes me feel better. So I started drinking wine. Whenever I got that feeling, I had wine. Whether it was 3 o'clock in the morning, 4 o'clock in the morning, I would have the wine, go back to sleep. If I, when I was a Munch salesman... Guys, I still do it, <laughs> When I was a salesman, I would get that feeling. It's, it's a vicious circle. When I was a salesman, I would get that feeling. I would stop at a liquor store and get a small bottle of wine. Put it in a water bottle. And this was so stupid of me. I don't do this at all anymore. I don't drink and drive. But I would drive around. Drinking wine in a water bottle. Because it calmed me down. I sold a bunch of dishwashers. I sold. A, I was very confident in my selling ability. But it just it wasn't good. I was drinking. Throughout the whole day. Never got really fucked up. Just buzzed. But still, that's how bad it was. Major problems. Where did I miss? Uh, my dad. Uh, oh shit! Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that, little girl. But anxiety is fucked up, and depression is even is and, just as fucked up. And if you have both, it's just like. What are the calories for one of these? Mm, I don't know. Okay. And if you have both, it's just kind of like a tug yeah, it's of a war. Double whammy, yeah. It's like a fucking tug of war in your head. It's like, it's like your your head doesn't know which way to go. Therefore, you're like, what the fuck? It's just like you're all just. It's all sorts of messed up. Yeah, it's just a fucked up feeling. No one should have to go through it. And I'm dumb. I'll eat the, I'm going to eat the Cadbury and that's it. <laughs> and then I'm going to bed. And then I'm going to bed. I didn't even touch my juice tonight. You didn't drink a lot today at all. Like, I don't know. Drink a lot during the week. During I know, the week, but though. that... It doesn't matter. And I had what? One of those one of those Dunkin' Donuts things? Are you eating the Cadbury egg before we go well, Kagi? Yeah. With me? So I'm about to eat mine. I'm on some of my friends. Um, do it. She... I've been married. Uh, you've been married three times? Fuck. Yeah. I'm very, very sorry to hear that little girl. Alright, here's the Cadbury egg. Is this the co This is the uh, green and cream? My mom knew it. She asked me. Uh, is green cream. Little girl. I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's a, not a Cadbury cream egg, guys. It's a Cadbury green No, no, egg. no. It's a Cadbury scream egg. Cadbury scream egg. What is good, though? 
Oh, uh, it tastes the same as a regular Cadbury egg. It's just the center isn't yellow. It's green. I don't eat these. And I love these. A lot these, at all. These are my favorite. These are my favorite Easter candy, and I was so excited to find it when I had to go buy tampons. And I was like, chocolate and tampons go hand in hand. <clears throat> they go hand in hand. You can't buy tampons when you buy. You have to buy chocolate. How about you too. finish your brownie and just give me that? How about you just eat the rest of the brownie and shut up? No, I don't want the brownie. Definitely don't. I didn't even want the Cadbury egg, but I decided to do it. Because I thought it would be nice I'm gonna to, buy for more me and you to have some green cream on screen together. Look at that, I rhymed. Much better at almost 50. I keep on forgetting you're 58. Holy shit. You lie. You lie. You don't have to say anything. I just saw that you popped in. I just wanted to let you know I did read your comment from last night. I just never answered you. I do plan on getting definitions on my body. Oh my god, glitter girl. I saw that you asked me that. And I didn't respond to you. Oh, well, I was last night. That's... Just a little bit. Oh my god, that's so sad. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Eat your eggs so we can go to bed. You got a lot of cleaning up to do. I always have a lot of cleaning up to do. I yeah. have to clean up after you. I'm going to put the camera equipment away. I know. That's it. That's it. I might as I well know. end Twitch. There's not even anybody on Twitch. <sighs> I'm not even going to say goodnight to you. And, and, oh, all right, you want to say goodnight? We will see you guys tomorrow. Uh, thank you for the serious, serious uh, talk tonight. It wasn't all about dicks and, and shit tonight, guys. No. It wasn't about dicks and shit. It was actually a serious conversation. If you suffer from anxiety and depression, this was the stream, you know, for you to, you know, sympathize and not sympathize, but understand and relate, I guess, with uh, some of the shit that me and Kaki Pulled said tonight. You're we will so see you guys tomorrow. Have a great night. Have a good Monday. Glitter girl, I'm glad you're good now. That makes yeah, me very happy. happy that you're good now, glitter girl. And just to let you know, I'll leave off with this, glitter girl. Your thumbnail makes you look very young. I would think you're like 30. Yeah, go to girl. You look hot in your thumbnail. Good night, guys. Smoking hot.